morning to all my dear students today we shall start pc second year business studies chapter number 11 that is marketing so my dear students in general what do you understand by the term marketing marketing simply according to you or a layman for this marketing subject might say marketing means shopping shopping in the sense going to any of the shop and buying the goods and services necessary for the day to day life my dear students this is the most vague meaning of marketing but marketing is a very very broader concept so some people believe that marketing marketing is same as shopping it's not simply shopping there are some other people who confuse marketing with selling and feel that marketing activities starts after a product or service has been produced no this is also again a wrong statement marketing activity will never ever start after the goods or services are produced rather it is going to start prior to production of any of the goods and services so some people describe it to mean merchandising or designing a product it's not simply designing a product it's still a very broader concept so all these descriptions may be partly correct but marketing as a has a very broader concept that concept we shall study in the chapter traditionally marketing has been described in terms of its functions or activities what functions or what activities does the marketing uh, marketing involves on the basis of the functions and activities we can describe marketing in this respect marketing has been referred to as performance of business activities that directed the flow of goods and services from producers to consumers performance of that business activity that is going to help in flow of goods and services from producers to consumers again my dear students this is a very very traditional meaning of marketing but it does not involve only movement of goods from the producer means manufacturer to the users or the consumers is not the sim it's it's not going to cover the entire meaning of marketing but traditionally this concept was understood as marketing the marketing firms do not produce goods for their own consumption hope you all agree nobody is going to produce anything exclusively for their domestic use or self consumption but for the consumption or use by others they are going to produce goods and services for others for helping their consumers to satisfy their needs and wants so therefore um therefore to move the goods and services from producers to consumers a number of activities such as pa- product designing merchandising packing warehousing trains transportation branding selling advertising and pricing are required these all various activities are supposed to be performed if a good has to be moved from the place of the producer to the place of the consumer so what they are supposed to do what are the basic activities supposed to be performed product designing product should be designed in a very very unique manner and the design of the product should be that comfortable for the customers to use it should be space saving it should be not too heavy it should be handy so there are many different needs of the customers those are supposed to be uh, uh, those are supposed to be solved by the product design means you are not supposed to make a small uh, product into a bulk uh, product which is going to use more time more space so space saving is also very important like that still many different uh, uh, product designs are going to i mean product designing is a very very important aspect again uh, in the same way packing warehousing merchandising transportation branding uh, when when you are going to design a product you are supposed to pack it in a very very attractive manner and customers are going to be uh, very much attracted only by the packing god knows what is there inside but still people nowadays are very much uh, very much attracted by the 
just by the packaging only so warehousing what do you mean by warehousing because goods are produced throughout the year sometimes some goods are utilized only seasonally and some goods are produced seasonally but are supposed to be utilized throughout the year like this many different uh, problems of time or space or place can be solved through warehousing and transportation obviously the market will be uh, in at the heart of the city but the production unit or the factory will be at the outskirts and availability of raw materials will be somewhere else so uh, transportation is going to create link between all these three concepts and branding branding means sim so giving a name to the product and making that name a well known uh, name for the customers so that easily customers may demand for the product on the basis of, of the name because there are n number of biscuit companies there are n number of soap companies producing the soap if you if customer ha is supposed to buy your company's product there should be some name for the product and that name should always be set in the minds and hearts of the customers so so branding is going to help you in that aspect selling advertising obviously information about the product should be uh, should be uh, made available to the customers then only they will come to know that the product is available in the market for so and so price and quantity they can easily come and buy the product so pricing is the most important aspect where customers i mean producers are going to or marketers are going to play in the market only with the in most of the times only with the pricing aspect so sometimes you might have heard any of the product uh, ma products uh, mrp as 999 what is that simply 999 is a, sim a simple strategy through which the customer uh, through which the producer is going to uh, what play with the minds of the customers but it's actually 1000 but rather uh, customers feel that oh it's below 1000 and they'll go ahead to buy the products in many situation so these all aspects are supposed to be taken care by the marketer before any product is produced so all these activities are referred to as marketing activities these are called as marketing activities see simply flow of goods and services from the producer to the customer is not marketing marketing involves a very very broader concept which includes all the basic concepts which we have discussed so far thus merchandising selling and distribution are all parts of a large number of activities undertaken by a firm which are collectively called as these all smaller activities are collectively called as marketing so what happens is it may be noted here that marketing is not merely a post production activity it's not a activity which is performed after production rather it is performed before the production of any goods and services so it includes many activities that are performed even before goods are actually produced and continue even after the goods have been sold see nowadays even after the goods have been sold is keeping regular uh, in touch with the customers and uh, asking the customers to frequently come to your organization for the sake of uh, free services Uh, something like that so that customers are never ever go uh, for will forget the name of the uh, marketer means uh, selling one time is not important selling repeatedly is very much important to sell the same product repeatedly to the same customer it's very difficult so uh, manufacturer has to has to grab the attention of the customer every now and then and he should look after the repeated sales so for example activities such as identification of customer needs collection of information for developing the product what is actually needed by the customer you are supposed to read the minds of the customer and then prepare the goods on the basis of the need of the customers so collection of information for developing the product and what product you have what product is in, in need by the customer you have understood now but to produce such kind of product you are supposed to put some efforts on r&d activities you are supposed to do some research and development activities and you are supposed to find out a method how to produce the product so what happens is you are supposed to put in lot of efforts in developing the product as per the needs of the 
customers. Designing suitable product packaging and giving it a brand name are performed before commencement of actual production. So similarly, many follow-up activities are required for maintaining good customer relationship for procuring repeated sales. So in modern terms, emphasis is placed on describing marketing as a social process see marketing is a social process nowadays people are not that much money minded they want good relationship with the customers and so that uh, customers are going to be in touch with the producers and frequently they can demand for the goods and services so it is a process whereby people exchange goods and services for money or for something of value to them ultimately they are going to exchange goods and services for money and money's worth or money's worth that is something of value to them means uh, maybe now also sometimes barter system also may uh, may come into existence for example always you need not sell a product for the sake of money you might sell a product for the sake of another product which is having some value to the uh, seller so uh, philip kotler is the father of modern marketing he has given the definition of marketing we shall look into it taking the social perspective philip kotler has defined marketing as a social process by which individual groups obtain what they need and want see it is a social process by which individual groups obtain means uh, they are going to get what they need and want through creating offerings. So here, producer is going to offer the goods and you are going to offer him the money. So creating offerings and freely, this is very important, freely exchanging products and services of value with others. There should be some value in the products and services and that products and services can be freely exchanged. No compulsion or or anything else simply if they are interested they are going to buy your product if they are interested to pay the price which you are demanding for your product it there exists a, there can happen an exchange of goods and services for some for money or some money's worth so there are different features of marketing first one is needs and wants you should by this time understand what is the difference between need and a want. So needs and wants means the process of marketing helps individuals and groups in obtaining what they need and want. In other words, focus of marketing uh, process is on satisfaction of needs and wants of individuals and organizations. Ultimately, the entire marketing activity is revolving, uh, is revolving, uh, uh, around this concept of needs and wants because uh, whatever is actually in need and whatever the customers are want, are willing to have you are supposed to purchase you can't uh, you are supposed to produce you can't produce whatever products you want and you can't promote or you can't sell them so ultimately the goods and services which you produce should be having capacity to uh, satisfy the needs and wants of the customers so a need is a state of felt deprivation or feeling of being deprived of something you will be having a feel that you are in need of or you are not having something what you're not having for example when you're hungry you will not be having a food having food to satisfy your hunger so food is the basic uh, basic thing which is going to keep you alive so if unsatisfied it leaves a person unhappy and uncomfortable if you whenever you're hungry if you don't get food at the right time you will be obviously unsatisfied and unhappy and uncomfortable so the thing which is going to keep a human being unsatisfied and unhappy if not having it it is called as a need Suppose now I am in need of shelter. I need a house to stay, a good house to stay. Then obviously when I am in need of shelter, a house is going to satisfy my need of shelter or safety. So that is my need. For example, 
on getting hungry we become uncomfortable and start looking for objects that capable that are capable of satisfying our hunger so need are basic to human beings and do not pertain to a particular product it's not exactly a particular product rather it is just a food for example whenever you're hungry any food can satisfy your hunger it's not that whenever you are too much hungry you need pizza burger or something so when you demand for pizza burger that is your want it's not your need food basic food is the need and in the need if it is particular it is it, it accounts to the wants so so need is a state of uh hope you have understood the meaning of need now we shall see wants wants are objects that are potential satisfiers of needs see a need can be satisfied with the wants potential satisfiers of needs human being uh, human needs are shaped by such factors as culture personality and religion so are called as wants ultimately all the needs are shaped by their culture personality religion their background mm. so many different factors are going to influence on what you need and want a basic need for food for example may take various forms such as want for dosa and rice for a south indian and chapati and vegetable for a north indian so need is basic for all it is similar to all but want always depends upon or want always is influenced by the culture the place the geographical area everything is going to come to a matter for example for south indian they require dosa or rice to satisfy their need, to satisfy their need but for a north indian to satisfy the need of food they require specifically chapati or vegetables so the food habits of different people vary uh very just uh, vary from place to place for example like geographical areas so ultimately everybody's want may not be same but everybody's need will be same so ultimately the marketer what he has to do he has to understand the needs and wants of the customers and try to satisfy according to their needs according to their uh, culture habits so different aspects they are going to ultimately take care of and satisfy the needs and wants of the customers the second point is market offerings what do you mean by market offerings you are not selling simply the product or a service you are selling the bunch of various aspects attributed to the product or the service so it is called as market offering combination of products services information or experiences offered to a market to satisfy a need or want so entities a uh, products services persons place entities such as products services persons place organizations information and ideas anything which you are going to offer along with the basic product to the customer is called as market offering when you are selling a motor bike you are not only selling the motor bike you are even selling uh, you are even attracting the customer through the uh, through various offers during uh, festivals and you are even providing him after sale services and uh, as soon as the customer enters the organization or your shop how you are going to talk to him what offers you are going to provide to him how much comfortable and uh how much ease you are going to make him is going to uh fetch you a demand for the product so entire aspects which are involving along with the product are together considered as market market offerings so market mafia means uh playing uh, sorry paying more attention to the specific products a customer offers paying more attention to a specific product a customer offers than to the benefits and experiences produced by these products at the most there are various benefits and uh, uh, experiences the product is going to provide you but ultimately you are going to concentrate on what aspect you are looking looking upon while purchasing a product see here for example uh, geo revolution 
see geo company is selling not only selling the network it is uh it's proclaiming itself to sell or connecting everyone connecting everything connecting everywhere so everywhere everyone anything or everything can be connected means it is providing a bunch of various kinds of services products experiences and uh, relationships with the uh, customers so pro market offering is whole and soul concerned with the various activities along with the selling of a particular product what all you are providing to a customer so <coughs> creating a market offering means market offering refers to complete offer for a product or service having given features its features quality taste size uh etc at a certain price available at a given outlet or location and so on if offer is for a cell phone available in four different versions see again cell phone is available at four different versions on the basis of certain features such as size of money sorry size of memory television viewing internet camera etc so what all you can offer uh, along with the product is also uh, kept in mind before buying a product for a given price say between 5000 to and 20000 depending on the model selected available for sale at firms exclusive shops in and around all the metropolitan cities in the country so a good market offer is the one which is developed after analyzing the needs and performances of the potential preferences of the potential buyers uh, whatever market offering you are going to give maybe you are going to give discount cash discount or trade discount or you are going to uh, give some free offers uh and you might give uh for example some accessories relating to that at free of cost so you all these all things are kept in mind after studying the poten uh, per- preferences of the potential buyers so ultimately you are not selling only the product you are selling all the other uh, aspects inclu- uh, all the other aspects revolving around the, around the product so that is called as in total market offering coming to the next point that is customer value so what is customer value all the benefits received and cost time and efforts see how the customer should feel while purchasing your product is he should feel the cost and time and effort which he has invested in buying the product should be very much equal to the benefits received by the product so uh, surplus equals perceived customer value the benefits should be more than the cost which the customer is going to invest on a product means it is the uh, customer value you are supposed to provide customer value means the process of marketing facilitates exchange of products and services between buyers and sellers process of marketing facilitates exchange of products and services between buyers and sellers the buyers may buy dis- may make buying decisions on their perceptions of the value of the product or service in satisfying the needs in relation to its cost how much cost i am going to spend in buying a product how much um, money i am going to utilize in buying the product that money should be uh, equal to the service or satisfaction the product is in return giving to me so the product will be purchased only if it is Uh, perceived to be giving greater benefit or value for the money when the product will be giving me greater benefit of value for the money i will be the perceived uh, customer who has received the entire value in the product so a product will be purchased only if it is perceived to be giving greater benefit not exactly equal still more greater benefit or value for the money so the job of marketer therefore is to add to the value of the product so that the customers prefer it in relation to the competing products and decide to purchase it ultimately your competitors product and your product will be uh, will be 
studied by the consumer and later if your competitors product uh, if your product is more valuable to the customer he is going to buy your product than the competitors product or else the reverse of that so customer value uh, so customer value in mobile means customer is going to see i mean he, what he has to take a better decision and money should be saved and social connectivity has to happen coolness entertainment utility convenience better service each and every aspect he is going to match between your cust your product and your competitor's product and later which product is going to give him maximum value he is going to buy that product so you are supposed to think that you are supposed to always keep in mind that your product should be giving more customer value than your competitor's product so exchange mechanism what do you mean by exchange mechanism during marketing or if a marketing if there should be a, a marketing activity performed compulsorily there should be an exchange of goods for some value so in this picture you can see that they are paying the money and buying the goods and there they have they have showed the laptop what is that is never tells everything has become digitalized at by sitting at home only we buy the goods and services by paying through online modes of payment so this is the modern way of uh, exchanging exchange mechanism ultimately uh, in traditional way again by hand to hand we could exchange the money and goods or services so the process of marketing consists of exchange of goods and services for money or money's worth see always don't think that only money has to be paid in purchasing of any goods and services even money's worth for example shares debentures gold or any of the other goods can be exchanged for some goods the mechanism helps both buyers and sellers to get what they desire seller is in need of money buyer is in need of goods and services so both both need and wants are in exchanged or are actually satisfied during this exchange so exchange is defined as an essence of marketing it's an essence of marketing now the fourth point is exchange mechanism we shall study it in detail manner the individuals obtain what they need and want through the process of exchange here individuals means buyer and seller buyer is in need of something and seller is in need of something both need and wants are satisfied through the exchange of goods and services for some value the process of marketing involves exchange of products and services for money or something considerable value considered valuable by the people the process of marketing involves exchange of products and services for money or something considered valuable by the people for example a person feeling hungry may go uh, may get food by offering to give the money or some other products or services in return to someone who is willing to accept the same for food you go to a hotel and free of cost you can't have anything you are supposed to pay for it if you are not having money in the pocket to pay for it you are supposed to render some service at the hotel so ultimately it is an exchange for some value so goods are produced at different places and are distributed over a wide geographical area through various middlemen involving exchange at different levels of distribution again my dear students distribution always does not happen at a, at a one stop means you are supposed to you uh, take the help of wholesalers retailers and ultimately the goods can be uh, reached to the end customers or the end users so conditions to be satisfied for an exchange or for a uh, for exchange mechanism there are some of the conditions to be satisfied first one is involvement of at least two parties whereas the buyer and the seller obviously if i am supposed to exchange something there should be someone to receive that there should be two people two parties that is buyer and seller second point is each party should be capable of offering something of value to the other and if i am offering them a product they should be ready to offer me the money which i am actually demanding for so for an exchange to happen there should be exchange uh, there should be uh, they should be capable of offering something of value to the other one to the other should provide some valuable 
thing if i am buying a product that product will be valuable for me and if i am paying for paying the money the money will be valuable to the uh, seller so the third point is each party should have the ability to communicate and deliver the product or service without communication to with each other we can't exchange the product how will a person understand that i am ready to sell a mobile phone or maybe it is just a an example i may not be having an sh- having a particular shop suppose if i'm selling my second and or old used mobile phone to someone if that how will the person understand that i am selling a product and maybe the other person is in need of the product until and unless you communicate with each other you can't understand what one person is offering and whether the other person is in need of that offer so communication is very 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 important aspect to make understand the people what is available with you and what you are ready to sell so each party should have freedom to accept or reject other party's offer this is very much important you can't force you can't uh uh you can't say that if you are not going to provide the pro- service or a product i'm going to shoot you or something with uh, fear or anxiety the exchange should not happen it should be at a free flow means <clears throat> there should be freedom to accept or to reject other party's offer so the parties should be willing to enter into the transaction with each other they should be ready to enter into the transaction with each other means ah uh, one person can't say that you provide me the pro- goods but i'll not provide you the money no both should be willing to enter into the transaction with each other acceptance or rejection of the offer takes place on voluntary basis not on compulsion whether they uh, buy it from you or buy it from your uh, neighboring shop or from your competitor it's not the matter ultimately exchange or acceptance of the offer should be voluntary and it should not be compulsion so these were the four aspects or features of marketing what is the first point we have discussed today that is need and want for a marketing to happen there should be need and want which is supposed to be satisfied by the by the uh, seller and second point is market offering there should be some i mean uh, market offering is a very important aspect creating a market offering and fourth point is customer value and the last or the four uh, third point is customer value and the last fourth point is exchange mechanism these are the features of marketing and last concept simply for a knowledge sake if i happen to discuss what can be marketed almost everything can be marketed what can be marketed maybe only the mother's love cannot be marketed apart from that anything and everything in the world can be easily marketed so for example physical products dvd players motorcycle ipod cell phone footwear television refrigerator anything which you can touch feel and see physical products can be marketed and services services for example insurance healthcare business process outsourcing <coughs> bpo security uh, easy bill service financial services computer education online trading what i am right now teaching is also the service so even i am selling it for the salary i am not doing anything at free of cost so services are also marketed ideas so uh if of uh, <clears throat> polio vaccination help aids family planning donation of blood by red cross donation of money on flag day national foundation for communal harmony so ideas can also be marketed persons what is this persons for uh, for election of candidates for certain post you are going to market the person means you're going to give advertisement about a particular person who is contesting the election so place Uh, visit agra city of love uh udaipur the city of lakes mysore the city of gardens um 
when orisha celebrates elven the god join in and when the god join in so these many different events can also be marketed places can be marketed experience customized experiences as dinner with a cricketer say dhoni lunch with a celebrity say bill gates or aishwarya rai or experience of uh, belino riding mountaineering etc so experiences can also be marketed for example your amusement parks they market experience the the moment you enter the amusement parks and you start playing the games uh, um, which are there what you are going to receive there for the money which you have uh, given them is the experience the fun the entertainment so properties intangible uh, rights of ownership or real estate in financial property shares and uh, debentures for example intangible uh, rights of ownership of re- uh, real estate and in financial property what happens you may even uh, sell shares and debentures events may be uh, marketed for example sports events say olympics cricket series and diwali mela fashion show music concert film festival elephant race kerala tourism so even events can be marketed information so production packaging and distribution of information um, by organizations such as universities a research organization providing information as market information or marketing research agencies technology information advertisement ad agencies what they are going to help you they are going to help you in um, selling the information or uh, making your customers or prospective customers uh, know about the availability of the product organizations can also be marketed itself for boosting their public image organizations such as hindustan lever renbaxi dabar procter and gambler uh, commu- communicate with people for example how they communicate with the people is with their tagline or the punchline they say uh, philips says let's make things better so the punchline or the tagline of the various organizations are going to market what actually they render so ultimately anything and everything can be marketed in the world that is for example goods or service experience person place properties organizations information events idea and innovation hope you have understood the days video simply it's a small concept for um, uh, for you to think so reliance is at war with everyone for example reliance industry is providing n number of services or goods for the customers but they are facing n number of competitors uh, every day for example in every area of their business for example jio mart is actually facing competition with amazon flipkart so e-commerce and reliance petroleum with ONGC Indian oil so in gas and oil industry and network 18 is reliance or uh, television uh, which is actually facing competition with star ztv in media sector and jio health hub is actually facing um, uh, healthcare it's a healthcare unit which is facing competition with uh, practo and medlife and mbabe mbabe so it's reliance online education which is facing competition with mbabe it's facing competition with byju's and jio mark jio money so jio money is facing competition with paytm google pay so this is uh, uh, this is wallets and payments sector and jio meet it is facing competition with zoom and google meet and Z- jio network is facing competition in telecom it's facing competition with airtel and vodafone and jio jio musical uh, streaming is facing with uh, gana and spotify so jio smart is facing 
competition in retail sector with big bazaar demart and reliance digital with chroma like in electronics so see at every area jio has entered but in every area it's having equal and tough competitors so my dear students everywhere there is competition and only because there is a competition you are not supposed to step back you are supposed to always go ahead and face the competition and win the race of life so thank you